welcome to my YouTube channel. I know I've been away for a really long time, so I thought I'd do a video for you guys today. I was really busy traveling with my husband and daughter, um, but now I'm back in the UK and I won't be leaving to the States for a while, so here we go. I'm going to be doing a video today on my winter fashion and beauty haul. So first I'm going to start with this olive dress that I got from boohoo.com. And olive is one of my favorite winter colors. Um, you can rock it in the fall, in the winter time. So I really, really love buying a lot of olive things. You'll see I have gotten a lot to show you. It was only 12 pounds and I really like how it has one long sleeve and then one's off the shoulder. So it's quite trendy. You can pair it with a pair of leather black boots or knee highs. Um, it's quite long from the length. So the second thing that I purchased is this waterfall cardigan from Boohoo. It was quite cheap. It was only 14 pounds. I thought it was really cool because it's like a different type of cardigan. It has a waterfall flowy look, perfect for the winter. Um, yeah, it is sleeveless, but you can always wear it with a turtleneck shirt, full sleeves, or I like to wear it with a vest underneath, a white vest and maybe some boots. Um, so yeah, it was quite. it's quite comfy too. It's nice and long, so it keeps you a bit warm. So um, the third purchase I did, it's an Instagram buy, uh, the Dunette collection. Um, so it, I think it was about $40, I'll write the correct price underneath. I'm obsessed with denim, so I love how it has like a hood, something different. And it's like a denim blazer, you just tie it in between. I don't really like how the model wore it. I would probably wear it with black tights and um, a pair of loafers and a vest underneath. So yeah, I really think it's cool for the winter. It's nice and warm, it's quite thick, and it's a comfy denim blazer. So it's not like, um, you know, the rough denims. It's actually really comfy, and it's actually, with long sleeves, it's quite, comes mid-length. So yeah, I really, really love this. It's one of my favorite purchase. So one of my must-have, um, winter faves and I purchase this probably every year are my Zara tights. I have them in like different colors and they come in a lot, I think about five colors like navy blue, burgundy, gray and black. Um, this is a gray one and it's like nice and stretchy. It's a thicker material so it keeps you warm in the winter um, rather than wearing the thin tights that we do for the summer. So this is definitely my favorite purchase for the winter and I have to get it every year. Um, usually Zara does stock them up every year. Um, it has a nice little detailed zip on the bottom. They probably are like 19, 20, 19 to 25 pounds. I can't remember on the top of my head. Um, but I haven't seen them on the website. I actually picked them up from Zara um, when I went in the store. Uh, here's the black one. It's stretchy again. The black one does not have a zip underneath, but it's really nice and warm. So for the winter time, I would really recommend these tights instead of the cotton ones. So my other purchase for the winter is my favorite Burberry black wool coat. I purchased it from Central London. I'm sure they still have it. I love how it's detailed like a long blazer. Um, it has this silk bit on the side so it's like, you know, it's nice and sleek. You could wear it as a casual wear or a dressy. Um, it's all 100% wool. It's really nicely fitted like blazers are. Um, I love this gold belt in the back, so it's a really cool detail. Um, I really bought it because of the details, and I think it was approximately 2,000 pounds. It is a bit on the pricey side, but it's definitely a good winter coat, and it really keeps me warm, and it goes with a lot of things. So this is probably like the sixth or seventh purchase. It's the Kenzo sweatshirt I've been dying for every winter. Um, this is probably the second winter that I, I've been hoping I get it. Um, I saw on the website they have really a lot of different colors, but they didn't have the olive color. And like I said, olive's like my winter fave. So I checked all over and I found finally found it on matchfashion.com. And it was about 315 pounds. They had that olive color. They had an extra small, small, medium, and large. Uh, so I had to purchase it right away. It's so nice and comfy. It's, it has long sleeves. It's not fitted, but um, it has that loose, cool fit to it. So yeah, Tenzo for the winter was a death. 
So the next purchase is also from Boohoo.com. It's the oversized camel coat. Um, I really was looking for a camel coat for a really long time and I didn't want to spend too much and I wanted a bit of an inexpensive one since I paid so much for the Willow one. So I finally found it on Boohoo and it was only 50 pounds and it's a bit oversized. It doesn't fit like, you know, like the Burberry one does, but it looks kind of cool and trendy. Um, it looks expensive and it looks similar to like the wool one that I just showed you previously but I love the color and I think every girl should definitely have a camel colored coat um, so yeah it's so affordable so comfy nice and long and goes with a lot of things all right so uh, the next purchase from Topshop my Adidas jacket I had it take the inner New Yorker out of me and go a bit sporty for the winter it was about 49 pounds on Topshop but it's definitely worth to buy. Something just casual, not my usual look, but hey. So um, I would wear it like this. I would wear it with a vest top underneath, a white vest top, and with tights that I have right now. And because I don't have Adidas sneakers, I'm wearing it with my Nike sneakers because they're so comfortable. So it's like a sporty look that I thought I'd do for the winter. So this poncho, I got a lot of requests on Instagram asking where it's from. So this poncho was from Misguided. Um, it was about 30 pounds and I actually got this hat from there too. On Instagram I posted a picture up and a lot of people were asking where I got my poncho from and where I got my hat from. So my hat was 10 pounds from Misguided and so was my poncho. Um, I've been looking for a really cool poncho for the winter. I've seen that a lot. Um, a lot of people have been wearing it and it's so in fashion. So I love how it has a little turtleneck and it's closed, it's not open. Um, so yeah, that's one of my winter buys from Misguided. So I have another Instagram buy from the Jeanette collection. It's a long nude skirt and it's just nice and, you know, fitting and it's, I got it an extra small. Um, it's nice and long. I think it's perfect for the winter. We all need a nice, long, you know, stretchy um, skirt for the winter that you can pair with a lot of stuff. And it's a nude color, so it goes well with almost anything and everything. I did get it with a crop top, but I wouldn't really wear crop tops in the winter unless I'm wearing it under a nice long coat. Um, so the skirt was definitely a great buy, and it's so comfy, long, perfect for the winter. So, oh my god, I've been wanting this one item for such a long time, and I finally got it. It's my Celine bag in olive again. I'm obsessed with olive. It's so great and perfect for the winter. I actually wanted a burgundy colored one, um, but I went to Malaysia and I actually purchased it in Malaysia. Um, it was about 2,100 pounds and I got it from the Celine shop and I was looking for Burberry, but they were sold out. So I thought I'd rather get the olive one. So it's so nice, it has a lot of zips inside. It's just a bit heavy, so that's the downfall of it. But I think everyone needs a nice olive um, winter bag. Okay. So something different, and not to do with clothing, but um, these are my favorite winter boots. They're suede, and they're Stuart Weitzman. So the reason why I love these are because they're so fitting, and I've searched all over for a pair of boots that fit my skinny legs but they're always so loose however these like fit perfectly they're so nice and comfortable because the heel's not so high um, they're not really so pricey but they're not that cheap either but I'm telling you they're a good pair of heels and they'll last a really long time um, yeah so I have to say that these are the best winter boots for skinny girls so um, now I'm gonna get into beauty and I want to say that I've been looking for a really good eye mask for a while now and I remember I mentioned Shiseido eye cream a while back and it does work really well but I wanted to try something different so I finally got myself the Glam Glow eye mask well it's a bright mud mask and it's an eye treatment it comes like this in a little box and it has 12 sets for your right and left eye. Um, basically, you just have to tap it, dab it on your eyes, and leave it for and leave it for three minutes, and then wipe it off. And it gives you a tingly feeling, and might you might feel a bit of discomfort, but that's totally normal. But it doesn't make your 
under eyes disappear but it like brightens them so in a way it, they look less dark and puffy it's really good for puffy eyes and you know just to brighten up your eye area so I use them and I really really love them and I know a lot of people have tried them but this is like my first time trying it and I must say that it was quite good so I actually purchased it from Glam Glow so there's another website that I just put down below and I think it's on sale for 33 pounds so go ahead and take a look if you want to order it you'll be able to get it on sale alright so guys I've been kind of suffering from blemishes um, in the winter time especially so you know when I get like well you can see I have a pimple on my face right now <laughs> but you know when I get um, like a pimple you know once a month or something in the winter my skin gets really really dry so sometimes I break out and it leaves like a little mark a blemish and it's, they take so long for my blemish to go away so I thought I tried the Maraud exfoliating blemish treatment gel and I've been putting it on every day along with my moisturizer and it's been helping me so much it's probably the best treatment I've used for blemishes it's one of the first ones I used but I really really liked it I also um, purchased this from Sephora in Malaysia but I'm sure you can buy it on the Maraud website and yeah I have to say it's definitely a must buy for people who are and do suffer from blemishes Another beauty purchase I did was this Revlon glue. It's a bit messy and dirty, but that's what happens when you keep opening and putting it on and then closing it, it kind of jerks the glue and it gets a bit sticky. But the best thing is that I've heard that the, the eyelash glues that turn blue dry and dry white are usually the best ones. And this one actually does turn blue. I got it off of Amazon for five pounds. And it is the best eyelash glue I've ever tried. My eyelashes have stuck on for like more than 24 hours. When you do take them off, they come off easily, but they just don't fall unless you really irritate your eye. So it is probably the best lash glue and it's so affordable and you guys have to try it. Another fave buy. So um, last but not least, I purchased my Bombay hair extensions. I'm really not the person who wears extensions, but this Bombay hair does um, Indian hair and it's 100% real human hair. Um, that means you can color it, you can wash it, you can straighten it, you can do all the fun stuff you would do to your own hair. So the particular shade that I'm using is Ash Brown and I have done a bit of curls to it. Um, but you can straighten it out however you want to style it. So um, it really matches my hair and it looks so nice when I have it on. Like I said, I don't really wear extensions. The only ones I do wear is the Bombay hair ones. And they're 22 inches. So in the box, it comes in with two testing strips that you can test on your hair and see if the color matches or not. And then obviously all the extensions. Um, I have the Bombay hair straightener to straighten up the curls. And I just got the Bombay Hair Curler and I absolutely love it. It's a 5-in-1 curling wand. So it comes in all these different um, curlers. You know, big curls, um, volumizing your hair, uh, tighter curls. And then it comes with these clips and the curler itself. So that's my other winter purchase. And this is probably the last winter purchase. So I hope you guys enjoyed my winter fashion and beauty haul video and I hope you guys comment below, subscribe to my channel and wait for more to come. Bye!